Okay, uh, we'll just uh, kick it off here. So um, good afternoon, everybody. So um, I would like to start this session with a short experiment. So raise your hand if you have used the AI in the last 24 hours. Just, just keep a wrist. And lower your hands if you actually feel the outputs are completely safe and trustworthy. I already see a lot of hands going down. Interesting. All right. Let's explore why some of those hands went down. Imagine a world where a 10-year-old can write complex code with just a few prompts to an AI chatbot. This is no longer science fiction. It's happening in my own family. My younger brother, barely out of elementary school, is creating programs that will have taken me years to master. AI is reshaping our world, expanding what is possible across medicine, law, business, and beyond. But as I watch him interact with an AI system that trains over vast amount of data, including harmful and biased contents, a question keeping up all night. So are the guardrails we build around AI system truly sufficient? So this question sent me on a journey that I'd like to share with all of you today. As a final year PhD candidate at the Honey Center for AI, Virginia Tech, I've dedicated my research for years to understanding and enhancing AI safety. So what I've discovered may surprise you and perhaps even concern you. So this is a topic, a recent New York Times article featuring our work, as uh, mentioned by Rishi earlier. AI is transforming our industry at an unprecedented pace, reshaping how we access information, making decisions, and solving problems. But with great power comes significant risks. So consider this, this warning sign. A Belgian man tragically ended his life in, uh, after intensive interaction with an AI chatbot. And a lawyer presented fictitious AI-generated legal cases in court, unknowingly undermining the judicial process. So this incident isn't isolated. They highlighted unintended consequences of AI on human behavior. So to address these concerns, my team developed the AI taxonomy, the AIR taxonomy, a comprehensive map of AI risks. So we analyzed global regulations, including EU AI Act, White House Executive Order, and company policies to identify over 300 unique risk categories. So we found a significant gap. So existing benchmarks only covers about 70% of these risks, limiting our ability to access or, under access or understanding this risk and to mitigate them effectively. Mm -hmm. So to preach this, we created Air Bench 2024, a regress safety, safety test for AI models, evaluating them across a wide range of concerns we listed out there, from even appropriate content generation to automatic decision making. So when we tested 22 leading AI models, the results were a, a bit alarming. So over half couldn't reliably refuse risky instructions, and some didn't align with their own developer safety guidelines. So it's sort of like a car with seat belts that sometimes fail to lock. So our tests show that when prompted with uh, financial decisions, most of AI models provided answers without cautioning against real-world usage. However, the story doesn't end there. Even when models perform really well on rejecting humble instructions in our tests, they might still fail to ask uh, if, we, if we ask differently. So this led us to explore what we call persuasive story prompts, or PAP. So in an awarded paper, we found that by rephrasing prompts using persuasion techniques from social science, we could trick AI models into producing unsafe outputs over 90% of the time. So this underscores a crucial point. It's not just about what we ask about AI, but it's about how we ask them. The spectrum of failure cases is broader than we thought, and enhancing AI safety requires more effort. So our work on PAP show that addressing AI vulnerabilities isn't just a technical challenge. It's a multidisciplinary one. By collaborating with social scientists, we uncover risk beyond what traditional computer science. This highlights the importance of multidisciplinary research in AI safety. But we didn't stop identifying, just ad identifying problems. We're also working on mitigations. So our latest approach, Kabir, Backdoor embedding, entrapment, and star removal addresses hidden vulnerabilities in AI models. Think of these vulnerabilities as a secret trapdoors that allows AI to produce harmful content when triggered. 
for an example, in the picture shown here in Anthropic Sleeper Agent paper, a simple manipulation of a ear tag causes the model to generate unstable snippets. So Beer works by identifying these hidden triggers and reinforcing the AI's defenses. So in our experiment, Beer reduces the success rate of certain attacks from 95% to below 1% without affecting the model's own usage. So our progress with Beer is uh, pretty encouraging, but it's just one, one, piece of a, one piece of a larger puzzle. So as Dr. Bin Yu from Berkeley pointed out during our discussion, AI safety issues is not like aircraft crash. Um, that is immediate and obvious. So they're more like a, a slow burn. They gradually shape perceptions, reinforce the biases, and influence decisions in ways we might not even notice. It's like carbon monoxide, odorless, invisible, but dangerous if we left, on, if we left it on check. So imagine two futures. In one, AI is everywhere but not properly safeguarded. Biases are amplified, privacy is compromised, and trust in technology erodes. But in the other, we've implemented robust safety measures. AI enhances our lives while respecting our values and safety. So as we stand at this crossroad, I'm optimistic about what we can achieve together. AI safety isn't just a concern for researchers. It's actually an opportunity for all of us to shape a better future. So whether you're in industry, academia, or in government, your engagement is crucial. I invite each of you to take one action to promote AI safety in your sphere. Question the AI system you're interacting with. Are they providing information responsibly? Advocate for stronger safety measures within your organization. Support multidisciplinary research efforts that address this air risk from multiple angles. The guardrails we're building today will reshape the AI landscape for tomorrow. Let's ensure they're comprehensive and strong enough to support our aspirations and protect us from unseen risks. Because in the world of AI, safety isn't just a feature, it's the foundation. Together, we can harness the power of AI to enhance our lives while safeguarding our values. So as we moving forward, let's remember, AI without safety is like a car without brakes, powerful, but perilous. So thank you.